guys it's Scarlet at Build Across and today I'm going to talk about how I paint this Easter egg. Um, I went with some pretty neutral spring colors for this and I love the way it turned out. Of course I'll be using all Dixie Belle chalk paint in this video and I'm going in right now with kudzu and I am painting um, some of my um, checkered print down here and then I'm going to paint the other part of the checkered print in um, mint julep. These colors are very similar um, but one is darker and one is lighter um, and the kudzu is the darker of the two and just in case you guys don't know you can purchase this cutout um, which is a paint my line which means that the lines are etched into the cutout the brushes that I'm using um, the paint that I'm using the sharpie marker that I'll use later you can purchase it all on our website buildacross.com Now I'm going in with mint julep, and I find that a number 12 flat works fine for this. Um, you guys know I love the number 12 flat from um, our brush pack. It just works really great for base coating. Finishing my last square over there and again this will be one coat coverage which is so great um, especially for these more detailed products just going in and smoothing over my paint anywhere where it may have gotten thick I'm gonna go in next with the color blueberry which I'm really into right now and paint my flowers And you can still use a number 12 for this. But if you need to swap on to something a little bit smaller, uh, if you're more comfortable with that, then go ahead. That would be fine as well. Now I'm going to go in and base coat the background on the top part of my egg in the mint julep color. It's the same color that we used on the bottom. I'm just kind of carrying these colors throughout this. And again, I stuck with the number 12 for this, but there are definitely some spots like around these flowers that you may want to swap out and go for a smaller brush. And again, I'm not too worried about getting outside the lines. Um, anywhere where I mess up, I will be able to clean that up later with um, my outline and, and more paint. So, um, just kind of do it at your pace. Whatever feels comfortable. Don't stress if you get outside the lines. And then next, I'm going to go in with that kudzu color I used on the bottom. And I'm going to paint my little leaves at the top. I tried to go in with a bigger brush, but ended up having to swap out for the number six round. Um, I just needed something smaller to be able to get to the tip of the leaves. And then next, I'm going to go in and paint this center part on my egg, and I'll be using the number 12 flat again, and on um, the color sea glass. And then I will also go in and to tie in my colors, I'm going to use sea glass in the center of these flowers. Now I've just let everything dry completely and I'm going to go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and outline everything. This step is so easy because really all I'm doing is just using this marker to go over the lines that are etched into the cutout for me. And also this little center part would be super cute to do like a last name or welcome or hello, um, whatever you really wanted to. And you could do that with a Sharpie marker or vinyl, whatever you were more comfortable with. After that, I'm going to go in with the number four round and the color cotton, which is Dixie Bell's Whitest White. And I'm just going to highlight the edges of my egg and also a few details 
on my flowers and leaves. And then after that, I will be done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these cutouts and have a great day.